flexible Nice and nothing less At McKinley That's what we expect Hello, my name is Laura Baldwin. I'm principal of McKinley Elementary here in Abilene, Kansas. McKinley wants to share a little bit about what we do here at our school to reinforce great behavior. It's called PBIS, which stands for Positive Behavior Intervention and Supports. It's a proactive system where we build a culture and a reward system to teach kids how to behave appropriately and have positive behavior. It's preventative instead of punishment. So we're going to talk to several staff today and show you different components of what we do here to make it a great place to go to school. Mrs. Lindenberger, could you tell us about the social and emotional curriculum that McKinley uses? Sure. In the Abilene Public Schools in kindergarten through fifth grade, we use a positive action curriculum. And it's kind of summed up on this poster. When you do good things, you feel good. And the kids are taught that when you have good thoughts, you will do good actions. And when you do good things, you'll feel good and that will help you have good thoughts again. And the same is true if you're having bad thoughts. It might make you do bad things and then you'll feel bad. So when you get in that cycle, you need to think about something good and give yourself some positive self-talk like, I can do this, or, I can figure this out. And that will help you have a better day. In our positive action curriculum, it also teaches kids how to take care of their bodies and their brains so that they can take good care of their physical bodies as well as their emotions. And it teaches things like empathy and being caring to others. Students at McKinley receive lessons on positive action about once a week. Our library teacher, Mrs. Stuber, teaches them lessons about that. And then in addition, another time a week, they also get a lesson from our counselor, Mrs. Irk. And she is working on teaching the kids character traits. And I have some posters over there on the wall that show what character traits she teaches. So would you tell us your name and what grade you're in? I am Jonathan Robinson and I'm in third grade. Okay, so Jonathan, can you tell us a little bit about the behavior store and how we at McKinley use our tickets to buy things from the store? Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we normally, well, most of the time, the things what, that we sometimes buy are some uh, of these and I like them because they're like so fun to play with and sometimes you can like put them in, well, they're just really fun bookmarks. So can you tell me why we get tickets or how you get them? Uh, you normally get tickets for being good and sometimes if you like are good at recess and help somebody and you be responsible, respectful, or your best self, you can probably get a few tickets. Awesome. Okay, and can you show some different things and how many tickets they cost? Uh, these are 15 tickets. Uh, these slap bracelets, they are 10. And these are two. These mustaches, they're fun to play with in five. Okay, and we also have some gloves and some hats and some backpacks, which are new, right? And we change the things that are in the store every once in a while to keep things new and interesting. Thanks, Jonathan. Good morning. Can you tell us your name and what grade you're in? I'm Reagan, and I'm in third grade. Okay, Reagan. Can you tell us a little bit about the behavior store and the food that's here and how we do that and what we've done with the food this year? You get tickets if you're respectful, responsible, and your very best self. And then you can buy these, the food items for two tickets and donate to the, to charity. To the food bank? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then for 20 tickets you can buy the eraser thing. And the mm -hmm. Okay, and mm -hmm. what did we do this year and last year too to kind of have a competition that had to do with donating food to the food bank? Do you remember that? Um, we, we had a competition in, on how much food um, we could get. So can you introduce yourself and tell us what grade you're in? 
I, my name is Clovis and I'm in third grade. So Clovis is a member of our student council for this nine weeks and third graders are elected. They give speeches in the classroom and then they are elected each nine weeks and she is our third grade representative for this class. So she's going to tell us a little bit more about some of the school-wide goals and prizes from the food drive that we had back in November. You want to go ahead and tell us about some of the things that you remember? Um, uh, we got to slime the principal and we got to wear crazy socks and do fun things like that. Last year we got to pick wherever we got to sit and uh, do some teachers got to have a pie in their face. Okay, so each time there was an amount of food that was bought, say 600 items, then we got to have a crazy dress day or they got to sit where they wanted at lunch. And the big prize this year was sliming the principal. And they went so far above it, we actually had to get extra staff to be slimed because they went so far above our goal. So we donated over 1,200 items uh, to the food bank, to the Abilene Food Bank as a school because these students bought them with those yellow behavior tickets. So you can think of how many behavior tickets that was earned through their good behavior. And I think everybody really enjoyed it. So these students have some special facts to share about our food bank and about our behavior store. Ian, go ahead. My, na my name is Ian and we have donated 1,650 food items to the Abilene Food Bank so far this year. My name is Callie, and we have sold 3,757 store items. Special, special thanks for, to Hank Royer and the Jeffco Foundation for donating money f f to us to purchase items for the store. And what's your name? Connor. Thank you, guys. We love our yellow tickets. This is Mrs. Ralph, and she is a looping teacher here at McKinley, which means she teaches both second, and then the next year goes on to third. And we're excited to have her talk to us about PBIS. She has been here since the beginning, so she's a wealth of knowledge since uh, Abilene and McKinley Elementary started using PBIS. She's gonna talk to us about the common area matrix, and also talk to us about the videos that we use to teach kids about positive behavior. Mrs. Ralph? So this is our McKinley expectation matrix. Um, it has different areas that we focus on in our school and what we expect from our students um, in their positive behaviors throughout our school building. Um, focuses on areas like the classroom, the hallway, our cafeteria and playground, the bathroom, and then the bus. And then we also have some expectations for the arrival and dismissal of our school day. Um, and though we also have some great posters in the gym to remind them um, what those expectations are. So we have all these great posters, they're in the classrooms, they're in the hallways, they're in the gym, um, but we also teach them because just putting up the posters is not going to um, ensure that everyone knows what the expectations are and then we review them throughout the year. So when we worked with the team from KU, they helped us come up with some different PowerPoint lessons. So every beginning of the school year and then we revisit as needed and then after Christmas break we do those lessons um, and focus on each of those areas and reminding the kids what our expectations are. Um, so that is the expectation matrix. Something else that we did that was really fun when I was able to work on it with the kids in my classroom that year was we made videos. So the, we have videos that are on YouTube, um, private videos, but our kiddos can, we can play it in all the classrooms and the kids actually made those videos and went out and acted out on the playground what they should be doing on the playground. And then in all these different areas, they were able to reenact and tell the other kids how they should be acting. So that's fun to get to watch those and have the kids tell our new kids coming in what our expectations are here at McKinley. I pledge to myself, my family, my teachers, and all school staff to have a great day today. I will be responsible, take turns, follow the rules, and be fair. I will respect myself as a smart 
special, valuable person. I will be respectful of others in my words and actions. I will be responsible, be respectful, and be my best self as a proud citizen of the Kenley School and Abilene. This is Michelle Meyer. She's a second grade teacher here at McKinley. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about the yellow tickets and how we use them as staff to encourage positive behaviors? Sure. So at McKinley, we use our tickets to help students understand what behavior they're doing exactly that they're getting rewarded for. So we use behavior-specific praise. Um, I carry my tickets in a pouch around my neck all the time. And so if I have students that are sitting at the carpet like this morning and I have some kiddos who are talking because they're so excited to see their friends, I may go over and find a few students who are being quiet and sitting how they're supposed to and say, thank you so much for sitting at, on your seat, sitting on your bottom. And and being respectful and being ready to learn and then I hand them a ticket and I try to say either respectful responsible my very best self or if they're using positive actions because they can mark that on their tickets and that usually helps the other students that are sitting in the classroom to sit down really quickly and follow directions and then I reward those behaviors for sitting correctly and doing what they're supposed to um, I also use the tickets because I have some students who are always really quiet and they're always doing what they're supposed to and sometimes they feel like they get overlooked. So I want to make sure that I give those students tickets and tell them that I really appreciate them being respectful and responsible and doing what they're supposed to so that they feel like they're being recognized. And the students really like the tickets because they can spend them in a variety of ways. This is Ashley Laux and she's a second grade teacher here at McKinley and she's going to talk about how students can use their positive behavior tickets. Ashley? So here at McKinley, when the students earn their tickets for their positive behavior, they can spend them. They can use them for the drawings that we have here at school. They can use them at our school ticket store. And a lot of our classrooms also have um, ticket stores that they can use their tickets for. So some of my items. So for like five tickets, the students can choose a spot in line. So for all day long, they can choose where they stand in our class line. Then we have things like for 15 tickets, no homework pass. They like that one. For 25 tickets, they can uh, switch spots for a day in the whole classroom. For 30 tickets, if they really save up their tickets, so it would be a few weeks before they could buy that, they could even have extra recess. Um, one of the items that my students really like is the treasure box visit. It's 10 tickets and they do that almost every week. Those items that I got for the treasure box, a lot of times our parents donated those items or PTO was very kind and gave us some money that we could use to buy some items for our treasure box too. Be your best self. Show outrageous respect. Totally responsible. Nice and nothing less at McKinley. That's what we expect. This is Kim Polinski. She's an administrative assistant. She's also our lunchroom supervisor and she works in our behavior store. So she is in all over our schools. She's going to talk to us about the yellow tickets and some drawings and some other ways that kids can spend their positive behavior tickets. Kim? All right. We, well, we, they can buy or uh, use their tickets at the behavior store, but if they don't find something they want, we always have weekly drawings for every week we give away a t-shirt, a trophy, eat at the special table, and then once a month we do um, eat on the stage with police officers. And that's a really cool thing because we have usually between two to five police officers come they come one day for second grade, one day for third grade. I pick 10 tickets out. They get to go up on the stage. Um, and it's kind of a neat thing because it makes them see the police officers in a different point of view. They go out for recess with them. So it makes them feel more comfortable being around them. And they really enjoy that. Um, the special table is, um, I pick six second graders, six third graders. They get to pick a friend on Wednesday to set with them at a, a table away from the other kids. They get to dump their tray um, first, so it's just kind of a special thing. We do the trophy, we give a little trophy, we put their picture and their name on it. We put it in a little trophy case in the school and then at the end of the year they get to take them home with them. 
We also do a t-shirt once a week, McKinley t-shirt. Um, and the teachers all have them too, so it's kind of fun. The kids have fun wearing them um, when the teachers have them on too. And then the tickets, oh, then we also, <laughs> From time to time, I do special drawings. If we have stuffed animals or stuff, um, this time we're going to do um, two stuffed animals. They put their tickets in there, and then I pick one out. So we do random drawings throughout the year. Any of these tickets in here that aren't used at the end of each nine weeks, we put them in this big box right here, and then we um, draw out for a lot of things at our behavior celebration. So each nine weeks, at the end of the nine weeks, we have a behavior celebration. We bring all the kids in the gym. I have fun music playing, um, really upbeat celebration of good behavior. We recognize good attendance uh, because we have really pushed for good attendance at McKinley this year. We celebrate all kinds of things through drawings again, like students get to take my chair for the day. Uh, that's something they can win. They eat with a counselor. They win eating pizza with me. They can be first to lunch. Just different drawings. We usually dance and sing, sing songs. Just have a great time celebrating our good behavior for that past nine weeks and kind of transition into the new nine weeks. I give a pep talk about, you know, if you didn't win something this time or if it wasn't how you wanted it to be, you can always make a change and this can be your nine weeks to really turn it on and, and be a great student. So that's a really positive thing that the kids look forward to each nine weeks. And we have fun with it as teachers. We get to dance and sing along with the kids and just celebrate um, the joy of learning and being at school. So today we just wanted to talk to you a little bit about positive behavior intervention system or what we will often call it PBIS and how we use it to create a positive supportive culture at our school to encourage kids and be proactive to, to teach them great time. behavior. Thank you for joining us. That's what we expect. expect.